Nice to meet you, everyone. Uh, my name is Narissa Wada, and uh, I'm from uh, uh, Tokyo. And uh, I'm excited to be here with you to uh, talk about Games for Health. And uh, the part that I will be in charge of will be types of serious games and gamification. And uh, before I go into my uh, lecture, t this is today's index. Uh, I think uh, Becky-san has done a great job introducing me, but uh, I will just kind of uh, draw in more so that you feel confident that uh, what I've been doing is relevant to what you are learning today. And also, um, then going to the global games market. Uh, everyone knows this is a huge market with a huge potential as a medium. And uh, games has now over exceeded the movie industry as a market size, and it's still growing. So it's a huge, huge market. And I think this is because that games motivate people. It's, uh, it's very immersive and it's very strong emotionally to attract people. So if this game mechanics and element is put into good use, it has a strong impact, change the social behavior of people. So after uh, we have kind of a common knowledge of global games market besides, I'd like to go into the history of games beyond entertainment. People see games now as something that is beyond entertainment. For example, terminology serious games, gamification is born from this notion. And also, uh, I would like to define what serious games is and also what gamification is. Sometimes it's confusing if you are uh, first uh, to learn about this. So I'll take time to kind of emphasize what are the similarities and differences between these terminology. And in the end, uh, I will sh uh, show you some examples of serious games as well as gamification. And uh, maybe at the very end, we have some time left to do some activity or pitch in some games and you have to classify which the game is, can be categorized. So <clears throat> uh, before beginning uh, my lecture, I just want to remind you that this area, the field of research, is a very exciting area and it's still in the process of development. So um, there's no concrete uh, definition. In some places it's more clear, but some places are vague. So I think we're at the horizon place where uh, if we e are interested in pursuing this uh, field of research, then we have the rights to participate and shape the industry. So um, let's begin. So about myself, uh, maybe I should skip about this because Becky-san has done a great uh, job. Um, I am currently an executive vice president at a Tokyo-based company called EduLab. And uh, EduLab provides a rigorous uh, assessment technology and uh, contents that are driven by assessments. And our clients are like uh, Ministry of Education in Japan. And also, uh, I am very interested in, in, in uh, instructional design and how to create an environment where people can change their behaviors. That's my personal uh, interest. And also, uh, I have a privilege to represent Japan to attend uh, many gamification and serious games related uh, uh, presentations outside of Japan. So I'll explain about that later. And also my uh, former company, which I used to work for, and which I am currently an advisor for, is uh, uh, known in Japan as uh, Nintendo's uh, education department. We, we developed and uh, produced 
many Nintendo DS and Wii uh, series games. OK, so uh, first of all, by mentioning Nintendo DS, these are the games that I was involved in. These are all education games on game platform, as well as Wii. Okay? And there are several titles for DS iWares and WiiWares as well. And also, uh, in the year 2007 to 2009, that was like uh, six, uh, no, more than that, eight years, six, eight years ago, uh, because this uh, serious gaming and gamification concept became a, a big keyword that the Ministry of Education asked us to do a research in a public elementary school and junior high school to see the game device, which is off-the-shelf game device, as well as the software, can be effective in changing the student's behavior. And whether is there a measurable outcome from that uh, intervention. So I've, I've done this uh, work. And this is a book that was published uh, from Koryosha uh, publish, Publishing. So if you're interested, uh, you can buy this in Amazon. Don't worry, I don't have the license to come in. So <laughs> as a reference, it's a, uh, it's a nice thing to uh, look at. And also, uh, recent works, uh, I work closely with Entity Docomo to create a new platform for students, um, I mean children, to learn. Uh, to learn. And also, uh, <clears throat> a little bit about myself. Uh, these are some of the conferences that I was invited to speak. And uh, as you can see, from 2010, there are many conferences related to serious games and gamification. So that's, I think, was a tipping point when the whole world started, hey, game is a powerful tool. Why? Let's explore how this element and mechanics can be used to good use. And these are some of the pictures. <clears throat> and recently, uh, this year, I was invited by two uh, big conferences uh, to talk about games. Uh, one is called the ASU GSV. Uh, ASU stands for Arizona State University. And GSV is one of the largest uh, EdTech funding company. And the theme was Mind Games. Can emerging game technologies improve learning and talent outcomes? And uh, I was one of the uh, panelists there. And the gentleman sitting beside me on the left-hand side is the, the founder of Minecraft. You all know Minecraft? And also, I was invited for uh, EdTech Israel uh, to talk about uh, STEM and engagement. What can we do better? So uh, my topic was how to engage people to change their behavior. And also, sometimes uh, behavior change does not last. So how do we design it for the people to bounce back to the original behavior and maintain it. And for these uh, conferences, if you're interested, uh, YouTube links are there so you can look at them. Okay. And also, uh, I worked uh, to support China Mobile. China Mobile is the largest uh, mobile carrier in China uh, to launch an uh, educational base. They wanted to use some uh, gamification elements to create games and provide it to greater China. 